Yo, what is up, T-Bag? It's your man, T-Bag69, and we are back with a new video. That's right, it's a video on a Monday. I mean, you gotta love it. I love it. Um, I'm gonna get more videos out for you guys, so yeah. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and comment which kind of videos you're gonna see, because I don't care. I will post anything that YouTube will allow. <laughs> but uh, today, yeah, yesterday was Selection Sunday, so today I'm gonna be filling out my bracket for the Dude Ranch $20 winner take all podcast group, which you can find out about in the description. No, it's not in the description, but you can DM us in the description on any of the Dude Ranch social medias down here, or you can just comment down here if you're interested, and I can uh, let you know what that's all about, ladies and gentlemen. But Anyway, we're going to get right into this. We're going to go from the round of 64 to the round of 32 to the Sweet 16 to the Elite to the Final Four and then to the National Championship. So let's get it. Uh, right or left, right or left. We'll start on the left side of the bracket here. We start in the West Division. Undefeated, number one overall seed, Gonzaga. Doesn't matter if they play Norfolk State or Appalachian State because they're catching a dub. And then Oklahoma, Missouri, I'm going to pick uh, them Tigers from Missouri, baby. The SEC, baby. The Southeast. And we go to the 12-5 matchup. We got Creighton and UC Santa Barbara. Upset alert! UC Santa Barbara is going to beat the Creighton Blue Jays. And that's a 12-5. Go to upset right there, baby. So our next game, we got the four seed Virginia Cavaliers taking on a thirteen seeded Ohio Bobcats. Absurd alert, baby! The Ohio Bobcats. That's right, back to back upsets. Woo hoo! Tell me about. Tell me why there can't be that many uh, upsets. Cause there's going to be, and we're gonna have a twelve thirteen in the round of thirty two in the west side of the bracket, baby. All right, now we go on here to USC 16 taking on one of the playing games, Wichita State versus Drake, which I think is going to be Wichita State. And upset alert, baby, Wichita State. Wichita State, they're getting it done. Wichita State gets it done. Wow, it's back to back to back. Upset alerts. So now is the three seed Kansas taking on Eastern Washington. And not upset alert. <laughs> All right, number three, Kansas controls their own business. They get it done. And we go down here to the 7-10. The quack, quack, quack. Duckaroos are going to beat that Havoc defense of Virginia Commonwealth. Because they shoot the ball good. And you know I like shooters because shooters shoot. And I'm a shooter. <laughs> now we go to the 215 matchup here in the West Bracket, Iowa. Versus them pesky online students of Grand Canyon University. Need I say less? <laughs> Alright, now we screw it on here to the east bracket. We got Michigan taking on MSM, I forget who that is, or Texas Southern, but doesn't matter. No, it don't! Wolverines, go blue! <laughs> There's going to be no six teams winning this year. Sorry for your Cinderella Cinderellas. Like, those are the Cinderellas out there. Now we get to another 8-9 matchup here. LSU versus St. Barnaventure, and I'm going to take... Go Bonnies. St. Bonaventure beats LSU, baby. They get it done. Now we scroll on here to another 5-12 matchup. Colorado, Georgetown. Upset alert, baby! The Georgetown Hoy is Patrick Ewing. Know his name. Because I do. And they're going to beat the Buffs. They're going to beat them. And they're going to beat them good. Yes, sir. All right, now we get on here to the four-seed Flow Rider State. Taking on UNC Greensboro. Not an upset alert. The Seminoles, oh, 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 They get it done. They get it done. And they move on to face Georgia in the round of 32. All right, now we got Jimmer for Dets, old boys. Then BYU Cougars taking on either Michigan State or UCLA. I think it's going to be Michigan State. And I think Michigan State will lose to BYU, baby. They're going to do it for Jimmer. They're going to they're gonna learn how to Jimmer for that out there, okay? They're going to learn how to jimmer. They're going to teach me how to jimmer. Teach me, teach me how to jimmer. Texas over Albine Christian out in Cook. 
I don't even got to get into this one. So this matchup here to 7-10 here in this bracket. Now this one's a little tougher. UConn, Maryland, I've been flip-flopping on this one. Now if this was the UConn women, I'd be going UConn women. But since it's the UConn men, I'm going to go fear the turtle, baby. The Maryland Terrapins get that win. And the next one, that's an easy one. Roll Tide, baby. So that's the left side of the bracket. That is the east and the west done. Now we move over to the right side, the south, where we get the number one seeded Baylor Bears, and they're going to run through Hartford, and they're going to shut them down because they care. And then we come to the 8-9 matchup, North Carolina versus Wisconsin. Uh, I'm going to go with my first eight seed. I'm going to go blue, go Tar Heels, baby. North Carolina is going to get it done. So, over here, we saw 12 seed Santa Barbara beat Creighton. Down here, we saw 12 seeded Georgetown beat Colorado. Now we have 12 seeded Winthrop taking on Villanova. Uh, uh, I don't know, I don't know. We're going to come back to that one because I'm real curious. I'm really curious. But now we got Perdon takes on North Texas. And uh, the Big Ten plays good basketball this year. I'm taking Purdue. All right, now we go down here to the 6-11 matchup. Texas Tech taking on Utah State. And uh, I know Texas Tech, their boy, Patty Mahomes, lost in the Super Bowl. And they're going to avenge his loss. And the Red Raiders are going to get the job done here today. <laughs> now we go to the 3-14, where a team I like a lot of art. So, man, I need a haircut. They're playing good. They're playing the tooth their toothpaste team of Colgate. But the toothpaste ain't enough to stop that plaque of Arkansas and Arkansas. Now we go to the 7-10. We got the Florida Gators taking on Vodsec, baby. And I don't think Vodsec's that good. I'm going to take them Gators, baby. And now we got on here to my biggest, my biggest sad story of this tournament. Ohio State takes on Oral Roberts because, man, I liked Oral Roberts. I thought Oral Roberts was going to make a run until I seen they got matched up with Ohio State. And then I said, no. <laughs> Oh, man. All right, so we're going to come down here to the Midwest bracket where Illinois is the number one seed out of the Big Ten takes on the Drexel Bulldogs. No question. All right, now this one, another tight one. Sister Mary, Loyola, Chicago, taking on the streaking Georgia Tech. But can I take, can I pick against Sister Jean is not my love. Or is it Sister Mary? Sister Mary is not my love. I'm going to come back to that one as well because these are tough. These are tough, and I don't want to waste a lot of time. Next one will go here to the Tennessee Volunteers. are going to get the job done, and they're going to be the first, technically the first, because I didn't pick that other 5-12 up there, the technically the first five to get past the 12 in my bracket. Now we get down here to perennial number one pick, Cade Cunningham, and he's going to carry the uh, Cowboys Yeehaw! past the Liberty Owls. Because Liberty makes it easy for Cade Cunningham. <laughs> uh, next down here, we like a, I get, we got a team that I like a lot. And them Aztecs of San Diego State. They get it done over Syracuse. They beat them. And they beat them pretty handily. I think. Now we go to the 314. Where we get Press Virginia. As they take care of Moorhead State. They get the job done. Sorry, Moorhead. You guys need a little more heads. Good heads. <laughs> to beat West Virginia. All right, now we got the 7 10. We got Clemson Rutgers. This is not football. There's no Trevor Lawrence. I'm going with the upset. Upset alert! The Rutgers will beat Clemson and they will get that job done. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> All right, now we got the two seed Houston taking on Cleveland State. And I like Houston. I think Houston gets that job done pretty handedly. And yeah, there we go. All right, now we're going to go back over to the left here. We're going to go to the round of 32 in the West. We got number one seed Gonzaga taking on number nine, Missouri here. And I like the Zags to get it done. And now, this is the one, this is a tough one. UC Santa Barbara taking on Ohio. Which one's going to the Sweet 16? Which Cinderella story lives on? Go Santa Barbara, go Santa Barbara, go baby. You can do it. <laughs> Maybe it'll keep going. We'll see in this matchup. <laughs> All right, now we get down here to what I think is going to be Wichita State. Uh, the 11 seed, take it on the Jayhawks of Kansas. Kansas, eh, sorry, Wichita State, your shocker defense is good. You're going to be shocking a lot, but you're done shocking right now. 
Now we get to the seven seed, Oregon taking on the two seed, Iowa. And like I said, Oregon shoots, and I like to shoot, and I got them Ducks of Oregon pulling off the upset alert, baby. They get it done. <laughs> All right, now we get on here to the east. We got them Bonnies of St. Bonaventure taking on Michigan. Go blue. They get it done. Sorry, Bonnies. Uh, I wanted to pick you, but I couldn't. Sorry, Bonnies. <laughs> Now we got the 12 seed of Georgetown taking on. Georgetown. Oh, wow. What a shocker, baby. What a shocker. All right. Now we got uh, Jimmer's old team, BYU, but they're going to run into them Longhorns. Hook them horns, baby. Texas gets it done. Now we got Fear the Turtle taking on Roll Tide. Who we got? Who we got? I got Alabama, baby, in the Elite Eight. Roll Tide. All right, now we're back up here. Baylor, North Carolina. Baylor plays a lot of good defense. They do. They play a they play a ton of good defense, and I and I'm real impressed on Baylor. Don't get me wrong here, but something tells me we might be seeing an upset, baby. North Carolina's going to do it, psych. Bear Bears. All right, next time here, we just got to go back to this game. Villanova versus Winthrop. I don't know who I like. Winthrop, they're going to get the upset alert, baby. Call Winthrop. They're going to get it done. So now we got 12 seed of Winthrop taking on Purdue. I said I like them freaking Big Ten schools this year. Purdue will get it done. Now we come down here. I'm going to start with the easier one first. Florida versus Ohio State. I like the Ohio State University, baby. They're going to get that win over Florida pretty convincingly. I'm very sold on Ohio State. The way they played versus Illinois impressed me. All right. Are they going to do it for Patty Mahomes again? Is Texas Tech going to do it for Patty Mahomes? I don't think so. Arkansas gets the job done versus Texas Tech. Oh, I don't like this. It sets up as a one, two, three, four, and I, <laughs> I don't like that. It never happens. It never happens. North Carolina, North Carolina. I switched my mind. I switched my mind. They're beating them. They're beating them. All right, now we come down here. Who's playing Illinois? Doesn't matter. Probably not because I'm going to take Illinois either way. Uh. Ah! Georgia Tech. Ah! Sorry, Loyola. I'm sorry. All right. Now we got Oklahoma State versus them Tennessee Volunteers. And I'm telling you that Cade Cunningham, he's pretty talented. He's going to lead them to a victory. Go Cowboys. <laughs> All right, now we got down here San Diego State taking on West Virginia. I like them Aztecs. They're playing good basketball. And they're going to beat West Virginia, baby. They're going to get the job done. And now we go to our final game of the round of 32. We got 10-seeded Rutgers taking on two-seeded Houston. And I'm high on Houston. I watched them play. They're a good basketball team. They get the job done. All right, now we're out in the west side of the Sweet 16. Number one seed, Kate Gonzaga takes on Cinderella 12 seed, UC Santa Barbara. Can they do it? Can they stun the world? No, they cannot. Sorry, but Gonzaga's just too dang good. All right, and now we got here, Kansas versus Oregon. Like I said, Oregon can shoot. They can stroke it. Oregon's going to the Elite Eight. Quack, 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 baby. They can get it done. They can stroke it. I like to quack, quack, quack with them, baby. All right, here we go. Elite Eight, Michigan, Georgetown, 1, 12. Who do I like? I don't know. I go blue. Sorry, Georgetown. Dang it. Sorry, Georgetown. And down here, I'm going to let them roll, baby. Roll time. So we got a one, two, in this, uh, what is that? That's the Elite Eight. Wait, that was a Sweet Oh, okay. So I got a one, seven out of the West in the Elite Eight, and a one, two out of this Elite Eight. I don't like that. All right. So up here, we're going to start with the one that I like the most. The Ohio State University gets to the Elite Eight. They keep it rolling. But who do they play? Do they play Purdue? They play North Carolina. They're going to get Purdue. It's going to be Purdue. Ohio State, it's going to be Big Ten versus Big Ten. All right, and here we go. How does this one play out? Illinois, Oklahoma State. Who you got? 
Kate Cunningham versus the best team possibly in the nation right now. Oh, I don't know. I don't know, man. Illinois. Illinois gets the job done. And a tight one there. And a really tight one. Uh, Cade Cunningham's going to keep it close. But I got the Fighting Illini getting the job done. All right. Now down here, San Diego State versus Houston. I told you I'm high on San Diego State. And they're going to beat them. They're going to stun the world. It's going to be in the Elite Eight. Michigan versus Alabama. Illinois versus San Diego State. Gonzaga. Oregon, Purdue, Ohio State. Let's start out here. Can Oregon stay hot? No, they can't. I got the Zags. Whoo, that's a tight one. Now we got down here. Michigan, Bama, Michigan, Bama. Roll Tide. Up here, we got Purdue. We got Ohio State. We got Purdue. We got Ohio State. The Ohio State University, baby. All right, down here we got Illinois versus San Diego State. The Aztecs, they've been playing good ball. They've been playing good ball, but not so fast. They're going to run into them. They're going to run into a very good Illinois team. Now our final four is set up. I don't like this because I got a one and a two and a one and a two. It never happens like that, but who cares? Because I don't know. I don't know. I don't watch too much basketball this year, but this is going to be the perfect bracket. We're going to start on the right. The rematch of the Big Ten title. Ohio State took them the distance. They took them the distance. They don't get it again. Illinois gets in. Illinois gets in. Now on the west, Gonzaga, Alabama, Gonzaga, Alabama. Roll Tide! Roll Tide! Can they do it? It's been since 2009 since we've seen, seen a team hold the football national championship and the basketball championship. It's been a while. Will they do it again? I don't know. Roll Tide, baby! Nick Saban's going to make a few calls and say, this, this has to happen. And the final score, 69. I don't know, to 65. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Alabama is your 2021 Men's National Championship. Roll Tide. Take it to the bank. We're out of here. It's so like comment subscribe tune in tomorrow we're doing a women's bracket we're out peace